How to forward a finished dictation. First of all, you'll have to start Speech Exec Pro Dictate and click on the icon for general settings in the toolbar. Now click on Dictation, Dictation Finished. Here you can define what happens to recorded dictations created and finished on the PC. The following options are available. File renaming options. With this setting you can rename a file with configured dictation properties. Activate the option and the dialog of the properties will automatically pop up. You can choose the sort of information you want to have included in your dictation name, such as creation date, author or revision author. With the buttons up and down you can select in which sequence you want them to be. Down below there is the possibility to choose the separator of this information, like space, underscore, dot. Automatic delivery options. Email. Activate this option if you want to send finished dictations automatically per email or to your transcriptionist. File transfer protocol. Short FTP. Activate the setting in order to send your dictations per FTP. Delete sent out dictations from the finished dictations folder. Click on this option if you want your finished and sent dictations removed from the finished dictations folder. User defined dictation finish options. Here you can choose which action should be performed after you finish a dictation. Simply click on it and select your preferred option. Other options. Here are further options you can choose from, like move dictations files to the suspended folder when clicking save as draft, create new dictation automatically when finishing a dictation, or copy to backup folder automatically when finishing a dictation. Now click on delivery, manual sending. Here you can enable again if you want your dictations sent per email or FTP or both. Also you can choose if, after having sent a finished dictation, a copy of the file should remain in the original folder or if it should be removed. Send and receive. Here you can define how often dictations are automatically sent and received via email and FTP. Activate this option and select the interval to apply the option. Email. Here you can define how dictations are sent for transcription via email. Select whether to always send the speech recognized text in the online recorder as email message text or as an attached rich text document or if you want to be asked every single for every single dictation. Below you can edit your email profile. Simply click on add, choose simple MAPE and type in your new profile name. Now choose your already set email, in my case it is Outlook. For address prefix please choose SMTP and type in your password. Click on OK. Now your email profile has been configured. Dial up. Dial up. This setting is relevant for users who must dial up the internet to send emails. Dial up uses a modem to connect to the internet. Its connection is established and maintained for a limited duration. To activate this option, please click on Use Dial Up Connection. Click on Apply to save the changes and then on OK. And these are the options concerning forwarding a finished dictation. FTP FTP is a standard internet protocol for exchanging any type of file between computers on the internet. To adjust FTP, click on Add and type in your preferred profile name. 
Now fill in all the necessary information like FTP server, main path, user and password. Before clicking on OK, select Test Settings to check your credentials. Setting was successful. Now click on OK. Now I will send a dictation to my FTP server. Now I will send a dictation to my FTP server. Click on the file, submit for FTP upload. Now I'm going to refresh, send and receive. Sending via FTP is done, so as you may see now, I'm on the server, I'm refreshing it. And there is my new dictation. It works the same way as in SpeechExec Pro Dictate in SpeechExec Pro Transcribe. Just go to Settings. Delivery. FTP and now you can also add a new FTP profile. And these are the options concerning forwarding a finished dictation.